Lisa. When it comes to public speaking, I'm sure most of you would assume that a president would have pretty much every advantage over a scandalous rock star. But my preconceived notions were completely eroded when I reviewed a speech by pres former President Bill Clinton and then notorious musician and actress Courtney Love. Both speakers did do some things right, though, especially based on what we've been learning in our class about preparation, organization, and presentation. So today I'll sum summarize for you some of how these particular individuals did things right in one speech by each of them. But then, um, for me, more importantly, how I felt about the content and uh, feeling overall that I received from the speeches. First, I'll discuss what I liked about Courtney Love's speech for these particular attributes, and then move on to Bill Clinton's speech of I have sinned, which is his response to the allegations of his extramarital affair in 1998. Lastly, I'll go into that specific summary. I like to think, think of myself as a positive person, so I'm gonna talk about Courtney Love's speech that I actually obviously liked better. Firstly, Courtney really seemed to understand her topic. She was speaking about piracy or music piracy. And her speech was given in 2000 to a conglomeration of executives and other music industry aficionados. Uh, she had lots of examples with math, basically, to explain how she really feels that it's not Napster, again, this is 2000, and other downloading technologies that are pirating music, but that it's actually the industry overall that is corrupt. Uh, one of her math examples explained how a popular group like TLC can end up bankrupt, somebody that we all think of as making millions and millions of dollars. Also, she had lots of real world stories to illustrate her points. She talked about um, how t-shirts are sold by bands outside of different functions, and that's actually a, more of a money maker in a lot of instances for artists than some of the other things that go on because of how, again, the industry takes so much money off the top. Also, Courtney Love's choice of words indicate how she believes in her subject. For example, after describing in detail the financial abuses, abuses of the recording industry, she transitioned into her next point about music downloading. She says bluntly, this is piracy, the former subject. Technology is not piracy. She did that a lot. She was really blunt, especially in some of her transitions. Also, Courtney Love, of course, has a pretty gregarious personality, and most of her speech seemed to use that personality to her advantage. But she did come up prof pretty professionally, I thought, although I was only able to read her speech. I couldn't find an audio of that. She does use some pretty well-placed uh, four-letter words in her speech, but again, I felt like in the context of to whom she was speaking and with her own personality, it worked for her. And it, there wasn't, it wasn't over the top, I didn't think. She also used a <coughs> definition, which is another thing that in our textbook, uh, the national speaker says is a good thing to do in her speech. Her definition is, what is piracy? It's actually the very first line of her speech. She continues, piracy is the act of stealing an artist's work without any intention of paying for it. Organization from Courtney Love, her transitions, I kind of already mentioned, were pretty clear and con concise when it stood out. She bluntly says, I am leaving. It's in the middle of her speech, kind of catches you off guard. And what she meant was, I want to leave the music industry as it is organized today. And she continues on with her speech. She had a great closing. Um, it was the best closing of any of the speeches that I read, actually. She quoted Warren Beatty, and her quote was, the greatest gift God gives us is to enjoy the sound of our own voice, and the second greatest gift is to get somebody to listen to, to us, and for that I humbly thank you. Love it was really nice. Moving on to transition to talk about Bill Clinton, President Clinton. There's some pictures of him pre-scandal, is looking pretty happy. <laughs> As I've alluded to, I'm not a big fan of this particular speech. Um, it doesn't necessarily express any political views I have, but regarding this speech in 1998, he was speaking to a room full of clergy at the White House, the White House's annual prayer breakfast. So he's sitting there 
talking to priests and other clergy members. Uh, his speaking style was pretty informal. He really included his audience. For example, he calls his wife by her first name as opposed to the first lady, etc. His word choices, he draws you in by referring to the country as us. Again, very informal. His speech was pretty well organized. He kind of started out with his first points, identified what those points were. He had some accurate transitions again, like now what does all this mean for us? He summarizes and then moves on. He also had a nice quotation. It was pretty lengthy and it was of a Jewish religious text. Again, it was very topical to his audience. And the thing that was kind of odd about that was he identified himself very much with the text. So he used it in a, a pretty clever way. The length of his speech actually was only about 10 minutes long, and I was able to listen to that. It was about one page. Courtney Loves was 12 or 13 pages. Uh, to, for my third point, I want to talk about how I felt about the speeches. In the time that these were both done, 1998, 2000, I was pretty young, so again, I didn't have a lot of preconceived notions. But the arguments that Courtney Love presented were very well is illustrated. They were factual. And by the end of her speech, this is kind of how I felt about her. She seemed well put together, organized, and she made her point. Bill Clinton, on the other hand, seemed to show a great lack of, lack of ethics. He never actually apologizes during his speech, although he says he has apologized. It was pretty interesting. So overall, I've reviewed for you some of the content in these speeches, what the speakers did right, and again, how I felt about the speeches. Overall, when it comes to celebrities, 